Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you some simple modifications and improvements that I've made to this cheap portable workbench. So the first thing to do was to replace the original top which was beaten up with a thicker stronger piece of wood. For this I've used a scrap piece of 2x6 and added a coat of teak oil to protect it from the weather. Number two, I fitted a lower shelf. So I'm going to show you how I did that right now. I started off by measuring up the depth and the width to get an idea of the size that I need for the board that I'm going to use. And for this I decided to use some aluminium composite material. Um, I just had this lying around. It's aluminium and plastic sandwiched together and the, the plastic gives it a bit more rigidity and structure. So you can use anything. You could use a piece of plywood. Any rigid piece of board would do the job. But because I'm going to be using this bench outside quite a lot, I thought aluminium would be ideal because it's not going to rot. So now I'm just marking up the area that I want to cut out and I'm using a straight edge to um, draw the lines and to cut it out I used a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade not ideal for this job but it did get the job done and then I just gave it a quick sanding to remove any sharp edges I offered it up to make sure that it fitted and then I attached it with nuts and bolts just drilling down into the original supports and this shelf will allow me to put tools underneath the workbench and um, just just help out with having tools at hand so that was the shelf all fitted. The next thing to do, number three, was to uh, bolt up the supports. So all these supports currently move because it's a mo uh, portable workbench. You can see there's a hinge there. I wanted to remove this and add um, like generic nuts and bolts to keep everything rigid. So there was these kind of little cam washer things with um, a bolt with no thread going through the middle which allowed everything to move and that makes the, the bench a little bit rattly and a bit mobile so I wanted to make it nice and solid so I replaced these with some standard nuts, bolts and washers And now it's much more rigid. So number four was to add a removable work top. As the original top is quite small, it's great to use as a clamp, but I wanted a nice big assembly table that I could put on and remove. So for this I'm using some pallet wood and I'm adding plenty of glue and I'm going to add these uh, like cross members to give it a lot of rigidity. Making sure that all the pallet boards are the same thickness to get a nice level table. I then use screws and I put two screws in each board with plenty of glue to make it nice and solid. So I continued this process and I added four support pieces in total. I then wanted to add um, a piece going along the middle which would be the part where the table would clamp into the workbench. So again I'm adding plenty of glue and I've just put an angle on each edge there and um, this is a piece of pallet wood 
plenty of glue and I'm going to screw it into each section with four screws in each section and these screws are going to go through um, all three pieces of wood but they're not going to protrude through the other end and once that was done it came out very rigid so that's exactly what I wanted I'll then um, just put a round over bit in the router and just round it over the edges just to uh, prevent any chipping later on when it's in use and I then gave it all a sanding down with an 80 grit sandpaper so because it's going to be outside quite a lot I decided to give it a layer of um, teak oil and that should protect it quite well outdoors So number five, I wanted to add a section where I could put the bench dogs and maybe a tape measure and a pen. So I have an old pallet board here or a bed slat and I'm just offering it up to the frame. And then cutting it to size. I then quickly just um, give my bench dogs a spruce up with some silver spray paint. So now I wanted to just uh, arrange these bench dogs so that I know where to drill the holes to keep them. And I'm going to add a clip there or a little bracket for the tape measure and a pen. So I'm using a force and a bit here to cut out the holes to add the bench dogs. And I'm just going to give it a coat of black spray paint for protection. Then I drilled through the frame because I'm going to bolt it to the frame. I then just added the little bracket for the tape measure and this will be just really handy because it just keeps the uh, the bench dogs and the tape measure and a pen right at hand Right, so here is the bench all finished. Starting off at the top, I'll just do a quick summary of what I've done. So the original top was quite thin and beaten up, so I took that off and I've replaced it with um, some scrap 2x6s, some lengths of 2x6, and I have drilled some dog holes in here and I've given it all a coat of teak oil. I've upgraded the screws in here, there was quite small screws, I've put big ones in. Then going down here, there's this extra piece that I've added to uh, support the dog holes, so they're always at hand. 
and then there's a little handy section here for a tape measure and a pen and then uh, going down we've got the tray made out of aluminium composite you could make this out of wood or any rigid material but I decided to go with metal just in case uh, water was to pool on here I'm going to use this outside quite a bit so it shouldn't rot because it's made of plastic and metal and then I've bolted this to the frame and I've upgraded all the bolts in the whole frame as well and then at the side here these, uh, these braces, I've removed the brace that had a hinge on it to allow it to fold up so this no longer folds up um, but it's much more rigid as you can see I'm pulling it now and it just doesn't move so I've replaced the, uh, the bolts that were in here they allowed this to move um, they didn't have a thread in I've replaced them with standard bolts to lock it into position so it's all rigid you can see that is solid and I've also made a removable worktop which you can fit here into the clamp So here is the pallet wood tabletop and that's all clamped into position now and you can see that is solid and it allows me to um, add a little clamp on the end here with really little movement at all and it makes this top much more useful because the original top is very small and this one you can see there's plenty of room on here. And the tray underneath is really handy. I can just put tools there. So that's about it for this video. If you liked the video, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.